The day has arrived. And I, I, I'm excited to see how this goes, but so, so sad to see it leave. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episode 148 today of our Hunter Hunter watch through called Past and Future, the conclusion of Hunter Hunter. At least the anime. I know the manga does continue on from here. And it's sort of a, a gray area in terms of if the anime will ever come back. But it, these last couple episodes have really tied together the, the loose ends very nicely. Nicely, and there isn't much more to tackle. I'm really excited to hear this conversation between Golden and Jing, finally. But yeah, just over the course of the series, you guys have seen the ups and downs just right alongside me and known how much I've really fallen in love with it. But I will stop wasting any time if you are new to the channel, which would be uh, absolutely absurd on this episode, but never too late to join the subscribers. Do drop a sub if you're new and let's hop into the finale of Hunter Hunter. The only other time it did the the beginning like this was the, the I think the final episode of the Chimera Antar. Oh wait, this is a whale island. Oh, hold up. Mito's house. He always saw it as the dedication. Oh, it's his little hat that he was wearing at the very beginning. And I don't think that's how he really wanted Gon to find him, to be honest, but he found him. Fair and square. God, he looks so much like him. It's weird. Especially when he took his uh his little hat off. Today's the day. Today's the day. Don't you dare make me see Killua and Golden say goodbye to each other again, you animals. Is he just chilling at the top then? Like does he have like a little hut up there or what's going on? Oh my. It's just, just straight up cut. Alright. No final intro. This is it. So what they say the first like 80% is like pretty smooth sailing, but after that, it's uh, good luck. You might perish. Go, go, and go. Gosh. It was about a year ago too that I watched the, the very beginning of Hunter x Hunter. It's been about one year and it has felt like much longer. God dang, rest in peace, Koto, man. He deserved better. I'm just gonna say it. Training under wing. All he's been through. They've all, all the experiences have just been little building blocks to get him to where he is now. When they were uh, honorable uh, members of the Phantom Shrew. So is the last we're gonna see of Karapika really that shot of him just like in the dark in like a suit or something? I guess his his character was kind of came to a sort of, like his arc came to a sort of close. But still, I wanted, I wanted Gon to at least see him or something. Little checkpoint. <laughs> what is age gated? No one said that at the very bottom. Oh, the hunter license. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, he's chilling. <laughs> I kind of wish uh, Gon had his fishing rod with him. He ditched it so long ago. It's out of nowhere. It's the waiver. Yep. There you go. I guarantee this is going to be very easy for Gon. Him knowing who's at the top, he's uh, uh, max determination. A button? They have a rescue team? Aww. Oh my god. <laughs> he moved so fast he thought he just dropped off. You know how pro hunters are, man. <laughs> He's not a regular kid, man. My hands are all sweaty. Gosh. Big world out there. What if Jinx at the top just like tapping his foot looking at his watch? Now, he's not zooming up there, but he's still still going. It's beautiful. You gotta be the tree going. God damn. Oh my gosh. Like I said, though, him knowing what's at the top, this tree could be four times as high. Yo, push your bracelet, man. He had to show him how to do it. <laughs> Wonder how quickly Jing got to the top. Or like I said, he might have flown one of his... They have a little basket copter. Oh my gosh. Jing might have flown one of his creatures to the top, whatever he has. I really thought the first time we would see him, like when Golan would see him, would be on one of those. That we saw him, whatever he was on that one time next to that volcano. Loki looks like a, a rose. Remind me of like the rose explosion. Is it just flat on top? Where is he? Deadbeat dad. What? What is that? Looks like little mochi. Are they chickens? 
I'm guessing they're just birds, just giant animals. Oh, they look so soft. Yeah. There he is. I'm so glad he has his hat off. Like I said, I feel like it's only apropos. He looked just like his son, man. He's like, not fast enough. For your first thought, like I said, bro, this is probably his morning workout. He's just as low key with him as I expected him to be. Wow. For real. God dang, Jing is built, man. Oh, what questions he has. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything else. Hmm. Yo, th these birds are, are really interrupting. I know they can't really go anywhere, but it is what it is. Imagine they didn't like lower the volume of those during the conversation. Oh, they're not. Yeah, okay, thank you. Well, he was like, he was like discovering relics and stuff at first, right? Not relics, but... Oh, yeah, I guess relics. Okay, yeah, I think this is really similar to what Satat's talked about. Archaeology, that was the word I was looking for, not relics. Well, I guess it has to do with relics, but still. Wait, 15, he was this headstrong, bro. Hey, you find Nico Robin, she'd be on board too. I guarantee it. What is the ultimate goal? This is all going once. It's always wanted. Like you said, it was all people dedicated to the end goal, not the riches out of it. But their faces. He really was on a good path. I always thought it was like kind of a cr like not creepy, but mysterious. But yeah, it was how they talked about him, how Satots brought him up, how everybody Gon's met has talked about Jing and how it's still going on. Hmm. That's how Gon feels. All the relationships he's made. Just like his pa. Yeah, I was going to say, the people he's met. And Jing saw firsthand how much Leoro cares about him. What he can't have. Hey, we got time. What? Oh my gosh. This is a sapling man? Oh my. Outside this world. Like another planet? Uh huh. Like the map is incomplete? Pandora's box? A tangible Pandora's box? Oh my god! What? How do you make it out? Bro, they live on a postage stamp! And we just end! Like what? Four are required. Hey, he's got four! Oh, for thing, not people. Yeah, that makes more sense. Who determines? I mean, if Jing's not ready, then who is? The detours, the moments you don't expect. I like that. Oh no, is Mama home? Oh. Doesn't look very intimidating. Brought just one fat fish for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't with you, Jing, man. Oh, all right. Cool. Sick. He's telling him his stories. Oh, my heart. Oh, my gosh. He's sharing his own. They're called the testing gates. Oh my gosh. Giving them information on the Soldix. <laughs> Is that it? They really did throw the intro in at the end one more time.
Mito. Wait, is it him going back to Seer? Oh, that's the mailman. Oh, he sent her like a postcard. Oh, dude, she would lose her mind if she knew what he had been through, though. I'm not gonna lie. The shape he had been in. Nolvin Morrell. Two goats, baby. Oh, the bet. Oh, I forgot. He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, are we going to see Cheadle in her new position? A toast to Netado. Left him a drink too. Oh, shoot. Ikao goes on it. Ikao goes an iPad kid, bro. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> the Oreo doing his studies. He has a picture of the four of them. My heart. Are we going to see Karapika one more time at least? Whatever he's getting himself into. Yep, same exact place. I hope he's okay. It's pretty stoic. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh. Oh, Goto's grave. What? Explain? Oh. What? What kind of plot twist? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, the capital. What are they gonna show? Ain't no way. It's the house Komugi and Mero were in. Probably never to be disturbed. Oh, the kite squad plus koala. They all see the same beam of light. <laughs> what fitting words though to end it from Jing man. It's all just been those little detours and those moments. Those moments where Gon is just growing closer to people that really do care about him. His end goal always was Jing. And Jing kind of set it into perspective for him, like saying, like, I think you've met a lot of the goals that you inherently didn't even realize. But I couldn't have asked for a better final conversation. I mean, the whole show was building up towards him finding him, so it had to kind of deliver, and I think it really did. I've been mad at Jing. You guys have known for for dodging going this whole time and i know it was to to better going as a hunter but i'm really glad they had especially that moment where they were just sharing stories with each other at the end it's just father and son and man i wasn't wrong they they cracked this bad boy world right open right at the end showing how small our world that we know actually is and this whole pandora's box concept and all of that is just oh my goodness gracious it's no wonder the manga continues on after this because there's so many directions they can go in perspective gon's journey had just been getting started Started, especially when looked at in comparison to Jinx, how Jinx like, I have none of the four things I even need yet. If you look at Gon, Gon is even remotely close to that. But all the experiences he's gone through over the course of the show has built him into a person that may one day be able to take on this brand new world. One that I hope that we're able to see one day. If it means I'm I'm going to cave and read the manga, what? I mean, I'll, I'll just, I guess I'm on the uh, copium train with you guys that the anime will ever return. But guys, that has been it for episode 148 of our Hunter Hunter watch to conclude this series past and future. I hope you guys enjoyed the series as much as I did. I know it had its highs and lows, but overall, just uh, absolutely incredible. That being said, I'm continuing uh, One Piece on the channel. We're starting Mob Psycho, Dragon Ball Super, a bunch of stuff real soon. So I hope you'll hang on for the ride. But if this is the end of, of whatever reactions you wanted to watch on the channel, I thank you for being here and spending your time with me. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.